Hey, how's it going guys? It's Nate here. And released six years ago, Skyrim wasn't exactly the peak of stability in gaming then. And despite a handful of re-releases, that fact still hasn't changed. The Elder Scrolls V is the host of a plethora of bugs. Some are mildly enraging, but others are just so absurd they force us to laugh. So today, with that in mind, we'll be taking a look at another five absurdly hilarious glitches in The Elder Scrolls V. Starting off, decapitation in Skyrim is a shockingly common way for people to die. NPCs get their heads chopped off by executioners. You can get your head chopped off by an NPC. And if you have the right skills, you can even decapitate other characters for yourself. The action is pretty gory all around, and me showing it in this video might even get it demonetized. But nonetheless, it's just one of many potential ways to get killed in the game. Or at least, it's supposed to be. You see, thanks to a glitch in how Skyrim handles its health mechanic, there's a small possibility that players and NPCs may actually survive their decapitation, resulting in characters without a head continuing to live on and keep fighting normally or about as normally as you could expect headless. Players report this issue being particularly common during the executions of Rogvir in Solitude and an unnamed Stormcloak soldier in Helgen, as after being decapitated by executioners, what should be their lifeless corpses may simply get back up and run away. As touched upon, the issue seems to stem from poor synchronization between the script that causes characters to lose their heads, no pun intended, and one's health stat. I've personally had this happen to me a couple of times, and honestly, I sort of enjoyed the look. Next on our list, Skyrim is the host of all sorts of precipitation. Snow, water, maybe even Alduin's fireballs. But to some particularly lucky, or unlucky players, it may also just rain mammoths and imperials. Due to the way Skyrim renders distances, it's not nearly as impossible as it should be for the player to be greeted by a mammoth, or horse, or human character simply falling out of the sky and landing near you. This will typically result in the death of whatever poor bean didn't carry a parachute, but my god the story they would have to tell. Likewise, it's also possible and a bit more common to see NPCs at a distance being magically lifted into the air, proceed to levitate for a while, and be dropped down to earth before for your very eyes. The cause for such nonsense seems to be rooted in the way Skyrim's engine renders distant terrain, and how it handles physics, neither of which it's particularly great at. This bug does seem to be a bit more common than the others on this list, so if you come across it for yourself, tell me, what's the weirdest thing you've seen fall from the sky? For third spot, Skyrim's opening sequence is probably among the more iconic we've seen in the past decade. That peaceful cart ride into Helgen, contrasted with the fiery hell that would be unleashed upon the city, it really makes for a memorable moment. Well, for some, that peaceful cart ride into Helgen may not be so peaceful. Players may find that the carts and horses towing them might act a bit, shall we say, sporadically. Violently whirling, shaking, spinning, twirling, and flying, the carriages that you sit in will begin to act as though they've been possessed by some sort of angry god. The glitch is generally one of the more frustrating ones to encounter, as typically the carts will never be able to arrive at their destination within the city, and you won't be able to dismount and continue with the introduction effectively making the game unplayable. The bug most often occurs when a player has a few too many mods installed that will cause a conflict with the scripts used by the carts and Skyrim's physics engine. So, needless to say, most PC players have probably encountered this at one point or another. Generally speaking, the solution is to start a game and get through that Helgen sequence before going crazy with your load order. But my god, can it still be irritating. Coming in at number four, it's said that dogs are man's best friend, but don't let any of your human followers hear you say that. However, did you know, sometimes the two can be combined. I'm not even going to pretend I know how or why this happens, but very rarely it's possible for your human follower's character model to become crossed with that of a werewolf's. Your follower will still use typical, very human animations, and the werewolf's skin won't cover the entirety of the character allowing you to still see some normal human body parts. It'll sort of look like your companion is wearing a werewolf costume. The behavior of this monstrosity of a follower will remain unaffected. That being, they'll still act like their normal human selves, and fight using swords and bows rather than claws and teeth, which, to be honest, is a little disappointing. Now, as immersive breaking as this may be, let's be honest, it's still not exactly the most annoying thing we've seen Lydia do. Besides, it's 2018. And as an honorable mention before we get to number 5, sometimes the Dragonborn can prematurely absorb Dragon Souls, meaning before the dragon has been killed, resulting in the player being forced to battle against skeletal dragons until they're actually defeated. And with that out of the way, finally, last on our list, riding on top of animals is a fairly common thing for people to do. 
Knights riding atop horses. Carthaginian armies mounting elephants. My nephew trying to ride my German Shepherd. Such behavior isn't entirely unexpected. However, one surprising combination you can find in Skyrim is definitely a little unexpected. As a result of overlapping spawn points, it's entirely possible to spot giants riding on the backs of dragons in the wild. Oftentimes the winged beast will make a sharp turn or collide with an object, after which the giant will end up falling off, typically to its death. However, it's a little shocking just how long these giants will stay up there. It's also not unheard of for other types of creatures to be spotted acting as dragon jockeys. However, it's particularly common for giants to fill this role due to the fact that they tend to spawn at many of the same markers dragons do, and every so often both will spawn in at once. Otherwise, the only other way to see something like this is if a dragon manages to effectively pick up some poor random animal. Unfortunately, during my playthroughs, whenever the dragon decided to use Fire Breath, due to the weird animation it uses, the giant would end up falling off. Guess it couldn't take the heat. And there you have it, five absurdly hilarious glitches and bugs in The Elder Scrolls V. Which of these have you personally come across? And which is your favorite glitch or in-game mishap that I haven't covered just yet? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, like ratings are very much appreciated, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace out everyone.